What's up guys, it's Danica. It is moving day here in Tokyo. Not really moving, but moving hotels. So right now I'm staying at the Conrad in Tokyo. It is amazing, super luxury, beautiful, overlooks the water. And it's been pretty chill. It's been like a good way to ease into Tokyo. It's been very quiet, very relaxed. I've taken it easy the first like 24, 36 hours. And today I'm gonna move to the center of town. I'm gonna move to Shinjuku and I'm moving to a hotel that's like a theme hotel and I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. You guys have to see it. I'm so excited to stay there. It is definitely like not as fancy as the Conrad. It is definitely like a much more affordable hotel um, and that's why I'm staying there. It is just hilarious and I'm so excited to go there. The rooms are probably like a little bit less nice, um, but it's definitely like a good hotel. Anyway, so I'm heading over there this afternoon, but first I'm gonna go get breakfast because the Conrad here has an amazing breakfast buffet and you guys know how I feel about Asian hotel breakfast buffets. It's like my favorite. And then I'm gonna go check out a food hall that is really close by before moving over to Shinjuku this early afternoon-ish. So, ready for breakfast? Let's go. Okay, I put on some red lipstick. I had a giant coffee. So hopefully, I will feel more alert and awake pretty soon. It is just coming up at 10 o'clock. We're gonna leave for the food hall at 11. So I have about an hour to get my act together and pack, make sure my hotel room is all cleared out before we leave. I am gonna go check out at this hotel first and store my luggage and then we're gonna go to the food hall and then I'll come back, pick up my stuff and then I'm gonna move to a new hotel. So that's the plan. Do you like my red lipstick? My skin is still a little, like a little bit dry. I feel like after I fly on a long flight, my skin and I'm like totally dehydrated for the next like five days. So it'll be a while before everything feels back to normal. Um, the light is so good in this hotel. Like I feel like the light has been so good in Tokyo over the past few days. So anyway, all right, I'll see you at the food hall. Let's go. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm here. I switched hotels to a hotel that is significantly less fancy than the Conrad in Tokyo. Um, but this hotel is still pretty nice. It's technically a four star. I did book the least expensive room because I didn't plan on being in my room that much. I also wanted to see what this room was like because 
they have a special ladies floor or ladies room so it's women only on my floor and they're all these like single rooms now this is definitely a lot more like what i remember from my last trip to tokyo where the hotel rooms are really really small but it definitely wasn't expensive it was like probably like 150 dollars a night um and the neighborhood is unbeatable like i'm in the middle of Shinjuku which is basically I mean it's not great if you like live here but as a tourist it's pretty on point because it's just in the center of everything and I can get almost everywhere from here really really easily it's by like the busiest train station in the entire world which is Shinjuku station and I think like millions and millions of people go through there every single day like m more than any other train station anyway I just got here and I just checked in and I'm just trying to get settled in and then Oh my god, I'm gonna go to the robot restaurant, which is just down there, and I can see it from my room, which is really great. Um, I'm gonna go walk around, probably get some lunch, and I'm gonna show you around the hotel, because this is a theme hotel, and the theme is Godzilla, and it's just excellent. Let's go check it out. Yes, I am staying in a hotel that's Godzilla themed. Okay, so I'm sort of like lying on my bed because I'm so tired. It This must be just jet lag because I did sleep for like six hours last night. Um, and I felt totally fine when I woke up this morning. I've checked into my new hotel, obviously, and then I went for a little bit of walk. I wanted to go eat like breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's just like a combination meal at this restaurant called Coco Curry. And... I am an avid fan of Simon and Martina. If you haven't watched their YouTube channel, they are a couple, but I think they're animators um, or graphic designers, and they moved last year from Korea to Tokyo. They're a Canadian couple, and they have a really cute dog named Spudgy and a really cute cat named Memers. Anyway, so they do these food videos all over Tokyo and, and all over the world, really, and <laughs> one of the places they go is Coco curry where they go to eat Japanese curry. I love Japanese curry. I grew up eating it This is like super popular all over Asia Anyway, so I went to dinner there. It was incredible. I loved it so much. It was like eight bucks Like it was so cheap <laughs> um, Which I think is like cheaper than Chipotle to be honest Like I think whenever I go to Chipotle, it's like $12 and this was definitely a lot cheaper than $12 Anyway, I have a ticket for the robot show tonight, which is just actually around the corner from my new hotel. I hope I like stay awake until that time. It's just like it starts like right before eight o'clock, and I think you have to be there about thirty minutes or forty minutes beforehand. Um, and I've heard that like the lounge pre-show act is pretty amazing. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's just around the corner. This neighborhood is like super intense compared to where the Conrad was. This neighborhood is sort of like the Times Square of Tokyo. And there's like a bunch of people standing out of the street, like skateboarding and like people trying to sell you things on the street and like people selling you tickets and people trying to get you to the restaurants and clubs and stuff like that. I think it would be not super crazy because it really is only Wednesday night. I think it's Wednesday it's Wednesday yeah so I think it will be super crazy because it's Wednesday night but still I feel like I don't really want to be out in that scene I'm not like I'm too old <laughs> to be like out in that scene at night so I think I'm gonna go to the robot show and then come back and you know probably sleep so yeah so that's where we at we're at I'm a mess you can see like all my chins I'm gonna, like tape my chins up try to vlog like this my hand holding up my double chin. Is that attractive? <laughs> <laughs> 